everyone, back at you with another face-to-face -face just for an intro and what I'm going to talk about today is unboxing that I just got in today. I actually received an email from this company which I'm not going to mention just yet and uh, just saying that they're coming out with some new products and as I was looking at them I saved the email for the date uh, when to come back to and I ended up forgetting about it until I saw them go live on Instagram and you know it was actually a really good PR move to go live because it you know made me click oh yeah I completely forgot and now I remembered and as I'm watching their live they're actually showing the new products uh, during the live their products were released and so I was able to grab a few they actually shipped it and it arrived to me within like a week, which is crazy because it's from overseas. So let's go face down so you can see what I got. So here is my package. It's not, it's actually quite dirty, but I'm going to open it up and we are going to see what's inside. Hmm. Okay, so it's just a little note on here that says a brass burnisher. You can clean, burnish your brass goods with this grade steel wool, rub steel wool over the brass, and that's it. If you want to keep the Asian patina on the brass, just apply beeswax. I wonder if that would work with my pen here. So this pen, I uh, got probably three years ago from Goulet Pens. This is the Traveler's Company fountain pen and I think it's brass, right? We'll have to see. Okay, so I ordered from Galen Leather and they send you a little pouch as I'm sure some of you know and they provide a this is like a wipe, some Earl Grey tea, and some Turkish tea. This tea is, or Turkish coffee. This tea is so strong. <laughs> uh, why do I keep saying tea? This coffee is so strong. Um, I've already, and I love Earl Grey tea in the evening. So I'm gonna set those aside. This is like a little hand cleaner wipe, which works perfectly right now because I just touched that really dirty bag, FedEx bag, and this will just clean it, clean my dirty hands. Okay, and plus it smells really good. So what to do first? Let's do this one. I got this finer clip and I've been wanting the Traveler's Company binder clip, but I settled on the um, Galen Leather one because it does the exact same thing. Um, and actually I think you can collect these in a sense because they have different engravings on them. So this one, it's just a clip to hold your goods. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit more sturdy. It seems like it's a little bit loose, like it's not, I can see how when it closes, it needs help. <laughs> but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes when I open up my notebook. I'm gonna be using this notebook today to um, do my swatches. And it does, mm, yeah, I don't know if it's really the best clip. Um, I'm actually a little bit disappointed. Maybe I need to put some WD-40 on it seems it's a little I don't know <laughs> sorry I'm just a little I'm disappointed I would have expected a little bit better 
quality, but maybe I need to um, do some something with it, kind of play with it. Maybe show my husband, see what he thinks, what he could do. I think it, it's just a little bit rough around the edges here. And I think I might need to oil it a little bit. We'll see. Okay, so set that aside. I never mentioned this, but you do get the evil eye. It has a story and you can use this charm and put it on pretty much anything that will, you know, hang. And I do have one on my A5. Uh, nope, on my A6 uh, five year journal. So I just keep one there. Okay, so I wanted an undyed uh, one of their zip covers, but lately they've they haven't restocked them. It's taken them a while. And so I decided to settle on their newest design. And this is the six case, um, hard case fountain pen or pen, pen case. Why is that taking me forever to explain? So, oh, this is cool. It comes out with, they have like a card only from the heart can you touch the sky with a quote and they also provide who created this letter leather telling you about their cleaning and a little bit about the leather itself this color is the honey ochre which is a newer color in their lineup and they also give you a 10% off coupon code. So here you go. All right, so let's take a look at this. I'm really excited because I've been needing another case and I intended to use this like for my desk space. So this is really hard, really hard case. And this side is magnetic really strong magnetic closure and you can't really feel them so I'm wondering oh I guess this is like a whole magnetic plate but I do like that so definitely something that is going to secure your pens and give you some peace of mind when traveling or taking them somewhere and then it has this insert and actually you can use it however you want. Let's say I wanted to use this for something else. I can just take these this out and store whatever else I want in here. So the only thing I would say off the bat is maybe having like some way to open it like either I don't know some way to open it without nearly scratching your leather. Maybe that's just me. Okay, so let's see. What can I fit in here? And I will do it like this so you can see. I have quite a few pens on my desk here. And first, let's try the Lamy. Let's focus. I have recently inked up this pen, which is a Laban is quite a big pen and hefty pen. Then I have a super small, tiny Pelican. <laughs> you know what? I think this would be cool to use also when uh, you have, like if you're doing a pen video and you wanna compare the sizes, you can use this. Cause I see them in some videos um, where they have like a tray. This can almost act as a tray. Sailor, this is a Sailor Standard. I have a Franklin Kristoff here. And my uh, Caveco there. So I think, initially I wanted to use this just for my Quebec, or my uh, Sailors. And I think I still might do that, but I just want to show this 
how it works. I do like the fact that I could just, I guess that's the only thing. If your pen is really short and you are moving around, um, maybe there's potential for leaking uh, if it's banging up against the top of this case. But other than that, it's actually perfect. They have the six pen case and then they have a 12. I felt like the 12 would be something that is not really portable and so I opted out of the 12. But this one is really pretty. The leather is really pretty, it's really smooth. Uh, I think I would have gone with the undyed, but I went with this ochre color because they said this is like the undyed, but older <laughs> or the look of it. It's a little bit like a more worn undyed. So I like that look and this is what I went with. Now knowing that this feels like this, I really like this ochre. Um, it's smooth, just like the undyed and okay. So here's the A5 undyed zip cover. And off the bat, comparing the two, I like this color better. This reminds me of more, more undyed leather from other makers. This color is, has been a, a, a unique color because it's more pinkish. It's not showing its true color on screen. It's a little bit more pink. This undyed reminds me of like the uh, Gilio. <laughs> Had a brain fart. The Gilio undyed color. As you can see, this one is really patinaed actually. Now, I haven't flipped open the back of this in a while. I always look at this side, which doesn't have much of a color difference as it does in the back. So it used to look like this, which I feel like is closer to this color all around. And um, yeah, this this yellow ochre is actually right now becoming my favorite. And I kind of want to go back and get a uh, yellow ochre cover anyway. Okay, my mind's always going. So let's put in the pens I really want to go in here and that would be, where's my stuff? Let's see, I have a couple more pens. So I have the Midori pen, just quite skinny. And then I have a Twisby. This is the Twisby 580. Let's take out that one. And pull out my others. This is the Sailor Standard Cyan, which has quite a lot of meaning to me. Um, I will go into that another, another day. Then the Sailor Pro Gear, this is like the Slim, so they are quite a bit smaller. And then another slim. And I have, oh, don't forget this guy, 1911. Uh, I think it's called a small. Oh, they look so pretty all next to each other. Okay. And then. I have another, I have my green, but it's in another case. So I will settle with this one, maybe. Do I want to bust that other one out? I don't know, we'll just keep it like that. I do have another one that is a lot more expensive than this one, um, but this one actually has ink in it and I'm gonna keep this on my desk, so I might as well just keep it in here. The other one is stored away in another pen box, but this is exactly what I wanted this for. Now, I just need to get some for my other pens for my desk. So I'm gonna put this aside. And we are going to look at this guy. So they do have a new release 
And I think it's not just with Galen Leather, but uh, they have this color at other pen shops. This is the purple. And I ended up getting this one. Oh, I love this box. This is a pretty cool box to put accessories and little things in. I'm gonna save this box. But I got this pen. This one is specifically made for Galen Leather since it does have their name, their logo in there engraved with some gold coloring. And then Kaveco Sport. I did get a special grind. So this is, I think it's a, what they call an oblique broad. But you could see, let me, Let's zoom in. So it's angled. And I wanted to try something new that I haven't. And I knew that these had been special ground. So I would expect that it should write a lot better than a Caveco um, <laughs> directly from their shop without it being touched coming from the factory. So. That's why I grabbed this and we are going to ink it up and test it out. So I gotta figure out what ink. I will be right back. Okay, so I took my pen apart and I thought I would start with these. <laughs> these are all my like purplish ink colors, even though I don't normally match my ink with my pens. I felt like I don't use purple that much, so why not do something different? And I'm leaning towards these two because this color is a little bit dark and I recently inked up a different pen, so I don't know. I think this one is glistening, which actually would be really pretty in a broad, but I'm still leaning towards these two. So what I'm gonna do is I clean out one of the cartridges that actually came with it. So I purchased some of these syringes and they came just in time, they came yesterday. And I it came in a pack of five, which is perfect. Even though it says discard after use, I mean, I will be using this until I can't use it anymore. And the last time I had one was probably the beginning of the year, but it did break. This part did tear. So I had to mean to get one and I would just forget every time. The good thing about these is that you can refill your pen with the ink and it's easier to clean really. Um, you just take some water and then you put it in here and flush it out and then take out the water if you wanted to with the syringe as well to make the process easier. Now, I did this with this pen and I'm going to test it out for you as well. But I actually mixed a pink and a, or no, a blue and a purple, a dark purple together and it made a really pretty like purple color, dark bluish purple. Now I'm thinking about putting one of these colors in and mixing it with this Sailor color, which is like a pink. And I'm thinking it will make a pretty blue-ish purple. I'm experimenting today. This color is pretty light, so I'm gonna need Put this color in first so that I won't mix. So I'm just going to take just a tad because this is a very small cartridge. I'm going to fill it up. Fill up the rest with the so my Myosotis, myosotis. Okay, let's put the body back on and my cap it. Now the only thing I'm missing is 
one of the clips to go with this because I feel like it would complete it so much better than the way it looks. Okay, so I checked and I thought I had another Caveco, but I think I sold it and um, I don't have another one of these clips. So I need to find a gold clip. And then I brought this one out to compare. I think uh, all these are inked. So let's get into a writing sample. Oh wow, this is like the perfect, the perfect purple. It matches, which was not my intention. So the colors I used was the blue, and it writes really nice. It's just hard to write, for me, my um, non-cursive font. Why did I make that like sound so much more than it is? My hand lettering or my regular writing and um, I have to kind of keep it at an angle to write because it is the nib looks like this. So it has that strong angle right there. Um, I guess I could have brought that in just a little bit more. The blue, my, my sodas and Kyoto, the, I don't know if that's the name of the color, but I'm just going to write it down. Kyo Hero. Wow, this writes really nice. Um, it's really smooth. Doesn't seem to be skipping. So when I write at this angle, it's not writing. I feel like I have to angle it a little bit more for it to write. And that's fine. It's just a learning curve for me. This is my very first oblique broad. Or also known as OB. And so let's look into, this is the other fountain pen I experimented on today with two different colors. I used blue velvet, a diamine ink. I use the Roher and Klinger ink. So.
So it's hard to tell on camera, but this color is quite dark with a hint of blue-purple. But yeah, so I'm actually really happy with this purchase and with the purchase of my uh, my case. This is something that needs some work and it's rather a little disappointing, but we'll see if I can get it into better working condition. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, let me know, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!